I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. Oh, Since we've got a guest. Really not Peaky funny. Blinders? I, spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. This is a hat you only wear if you've murdered at least a hundred people and you make illegal moonshine. I don't care. If you're a 14-year-old kid, if you pack on 75 pounds and add some facial scarring plus this hat, all of a sudden, you know, you're like Daniel Day-Lewis in Gangs of New York. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. The only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on... Hey, Riku! I was talking okay, to the boss! I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Don't hit me with my own eyebrow. Oh, yes. Saw someone put oh, yes. his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geo. Sounds like uh, my Rimworld Reroute colony. Power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. You know what? I like the cut of this guy's jib. You're the first stranger to wander. I like the chaos. Scripture tells us that nothing happens without reason. Let's pretend I'm interested. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. They really want me to go with this mostly abandoned thing. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Squatters. I see. You mean marauders? Marauders aren't people. <laughs> we went, what a surprise. Over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. If you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. Good law, no. I don't want you killing anyone. It's Leave bad for business. Them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader. Adelaide, tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her... She's a soft target. If you can get to her, the rest of the Union will come over. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Plus, she needs our benefits program for her insulin, so she's vulnerable right now. My dad told me all about the plant. Talk Lady, about you. who are you? Come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. One, two, three, four. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches. And I've got my wrenches too. Wrenches rise up in chat, so. please. I'm all set. 
Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. Oh, companions. They provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with inspiration. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thomas. For what? Illegal conversation on company time? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office. All right. I need to purchase medicals and ammo. Ma'am, as a lifelong denizen of Edgewater, where may I purchase? Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Ammo and supplies. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account oh, of his here job we go. and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. <laughs> if I wanted to deal with nuance, I wouldn't be this heavily armed. Let's move. A little out of character when you got no ammo. Um, how about figures? Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. <laughs> What's wrong with your ear? I'm sure the deserters are very fine people. So what? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. I love... Dad used to say anyways. Okay, uh, that's bait. I don't take that. I love people are saying, man, I wonder what NL's going to do. Is he going to free the union or is he going to be a corporate bootlicker? Well, we're definitely going to reroute the power from the botanical garden to Edgewater. And then we're going to kill uh, the CEO. You didn't see that. That's, uh, that's my game plan right now. Yo, she's cool. <laughs> she doesn't care. This is great. We got actual supplies. Where are we headed? So I want to access your inventory? No, we I'm not asking about your dad. We just met. Get me out of here. Only you can protect fourth quarter profits. Madam? Yo, what is this? Overhauled power helmet? Yo! <laughs> you can't stop us. We have Adreno. Why do we have no medical bags in the top left? You can also hide helmets. You have to you have to equip them. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Emergency medical inhaler, Adreno. Ah, okay. Understood. Let me out of this place. Ma'am, how do we leave? I'd like to leave, please. You the new worker? No. Whatever. 
Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm I'd busy. like to know where the exit is, ma'am. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. I'll let you get back to work then. For now. For now. We're free! I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Sir? I don't have time for this. Alright, you know what? That's a that's an adequate attitude. We will go see Vicar Maximum. He is located in the church. As denoted by the stained glass windows. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Maximilian ear, Max, dude. If you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. I this want your shirt. Toss ball predictions. Is that Hermes? Quickest way out of town. I need that shirt. Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. Uh, what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb. Whoops. Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation... It's just a misunderstanding. ...answer in single words and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Hmm. Let, let's mess with him. Fix the Nothing geothermal plant. Your expertise. The way we do it's by cutting off power to the others. The ones who left. Adelaide McDevitt's encampment. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What's that supposed to mean? So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted. You by want me to risk my life? On the property. Just to get a copy of The Handmaiden's Tale. A handsome sum for the book. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal. Could you give me ten heavy bullets, please? With the name M. Bakonu, handwritten M. Bakonu? I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? M. Bacon? I will look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Please do this quest right away. Hey All right. there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. Got him. Our place in the universe is... All right, whatever, Jared Leto. Yeah, I don't know why that wasn't stealing. Perhaps because it's the church? How do I see active quests? Okay, give me companion quests, please. Track. Set active with a double click. It's built for boomers like me. It's this way anyway. All right, but I need a merchant. I need a merchant first. M. Vendor. Vending machine? I'll take it. It's 
stop. They want, oh, that's my companion's inventory, my bad. It's a little further, okay. Vending machine, Borderlands style. It's directly in front of me. It really is Borderlands style. Okay. I would like to purchase... How much... We have 302 bits. I need light ammo, which I assume is cheaper than heavy ammo. I will buy 50. Honestly, spend the rest of our money on Adreno and then sell junk. We're doing, we're doing all right again. I will take a little heavy ammo, please. Give me, third, give me a clip. All right. We've done it. Clip, magazine, whatever. All I know is the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. We're ready to go. We got seven heals. Let's try not to use them all immediately this time. I'm ready. NL, you bought a banana? So what? You need space potassium. You got a problem? Yo, okay. We got marauders. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. We're on a quest. What the frick is this? It's a porg, dude! Look out. Lydia, save me! Lydia! It didn't have to be like this. I didn't really want to kill you. Just the door was openable. Dervish mist. Yo, end of vending machine. This place has got everything. I know her name's not Lydia, but functionally speaking, she is a Lydia. Like, you know what I mean? She's Lydia-esque. Sorry, there was an upstairs. There better be something good up here. Skin tough salve. Two bypass shunts. And a door we can't lockpick. Those are for hacking. Okay. Okay. You hear that? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Lydia, be careful. Not Lydia. What's your name? Pavarotti. Okay, Pavarotti, get ready. We are going to... Pull out the Grimes. And then get ready. Right, here we go. Pavarotti, help me! I'm not very good! Stay frosty, boys. Nice Got him. Got him. What? Alright, that was not so bad. Hunting rifle, heavy ammo, light ammo. A small percentage of weapons and armor you find may be considered pristine. Which one? 
pristine, I'm assuming, is as indicated by this. No, that doesn't make sense. Hunting rifle is very good. Are you, you're, are you pristine? The one with the diamond. I feel like I've, I've lost my mind. That means it's a laser damage. Okay. Diamond next to wrench. Under your camera. That doesn't really help me out because I don't see my camera on mine. Two, you're talking about... Oh, this? I see. I see. This assault rifle. Understood. Yo, 77 bullets for it, too. Exactly. I don't recognize that as a diamond. It's a Chaos Emerald. Yo, 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 be cool. It's just that easy. I got this one. I gotta be honest, we're carrying her. I didn't think it would go down like that. Hello, Ruka. I really thought she would kind of be driving the bus on this one. But, uh... You know, I'll take what I can get. Still got lots of ammo. You've gotten a weapon modification. You know what? We'll worry about that in due process. Give her a better gun? Oh, absolutely not. She will be killed as well. I don't read lore. Collector's letter. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books moldering in some contraband locker, so I stashed them all away in a cave by the river. Ruka, please don't jump on the computer. It's, it's a problem, okay? Yeah, you can sleep there if you want. That's not an issue. It doesn't bother me. But don't jump on the power button. That's that's a nightmare. We loot. Here's how I play games, okay? We loot. We worry about our inventory later. I don't like to spend a lot of downtime. You know, oh, I got a plus six uh, oh, uh, butt plug. It's not for me. And yeah, I break my legs all the time. So what? Okay. Quest. Cave by the river. Let's go. See that rock there? You, you can't climb it. I think that maybe what I've done is I've accidentally ruined our partner. Incoming. Excuse me? Yo. Uh, by making our own speed too fast, she can't help us anymore. Because we're just too quick. No normal human being could find us. Or to catch up with us, I should say. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. My kill. Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry, I got him. That's the last of them. He's so strong. How does Thornforge do it? Hey, uh, next time, Pavarotti, there's an explosive barrel there you can use. I'm not trying to backseat, just saying.
cave and oh Yikes, nasty way to go. We go. Incoming. Nice one. God, I'm good. Look at how good he is. 